Welcome once again to the Northwestern Vermont Model Railroad Association Club Layout. It's HO scale, by the way. I forgot to mention that last time. Um, today, I'm going to do a little bit different train. We're going to operate a local train, and I'm going to talk a little bit about operations here on our club layout. Now, there are different ways to operate a model railroad club. Uh, what we use to keep the cars moving around the layout are car cards and waybills. You see them here in our Arlington Yard waybill sorter, or car card sorter. I always get them confused. Sorry about that. Um, and we change the waybills each time um, it's time to move the cars to a different location. So if they're in the local town, um, somebody will come along and move some of the cars, the waybills, so that the cars are set to leave that place, or for pickups, we call them here. Um, so anyways, car cards and waybills. The other thing is, as far as the operating trains, um, here on the layout we have a hierarchy of trains. Most railroads do. First highest level is the Amtrak trains. We have a northbound and a southbound. And, um, oh, I got that right this time. Always to the right is um, southbound. There, I got it again. And to the left is northbound. Um, so we have an Amtrak train each direction. We have two through trains each direction. And these don't might not all happen at the same operating session. Um, two through trains each direction. And then we have the... I'm trying to remember the hierarchy correctly. Um, we have the... Uh, transfer trains. We have one that comes from St. Albans to the north into here to Arlington and they pick up their train and go back to St. Albans. And then we have a B&M um, transfer that comes in from uh, Mechanicville and it comes in here to Arlington, takes trains and goes back to Mechanicville. Is it Mechanicville? I better get that right. No, it's East Deerfield. <laughs> Somebody's going to correct me on that. Okay, so those are our transfer trains and then next comes the grain trains those are a through train we did the grain train or i did the grain train last week showed you how to do that um, and then at the bottom of the totem pole we have the local trains so what happens during an operating session is the local trains can get stuck in a siding um, trying to get from one town to the next they can be stuck in a siding in their own local town trying to switch the dispatcher may say hold on track one or track two, clear the main line for a train, whatever. So today we're going to run the Newton switcher. Now, rut row. <laughs> Where'd I put my train order sheet? We have train orders. Um, when we come down here to the club on an operating night, and I should have mentioned that earlier, we have two operating sessions a month, one on the second Wednesday night, of the month and then one on the third Friday of the month and during those operating sessions you would come in and you would go see the dispatcher who's up there in that little booth up there and you would get your train order for the day and you would pick up I'm trying to find my train order. what did, okay did I finally found it hurrah hurrah so here's my train order and it says Secure power at the roundhouse. Well, the first thing I should do is go over and get myself a throttle. We have a bunch of throttles over, over there, hanging on the wall. Uh, get yourself a throttle. It says, come to Arlington, secure power at the roundhouse. Secure a caboose from the caboose track. And uh, right now, the turntable is out of commission, so all the locomotives are sitting here on the ready track. Caboose is on the caboose track. Secure your train from the yardmaster, and then assemble your train, your power, your cars with a caboose at the rear. So, let's get ourselves a locomotive. All right, don't tell the yardmaster because I'm going to take one of his switchers today, just to be different. We have a bunch of EMD Jeeps over here that we normally run for the local trains, but I want to take the switcher today. So I've dialed up locomotive 1013, turned on the headlight, and I'm going to hit reverse. Hey, it's moving. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my locomotive and I'm going to bring it over, grab a caboose, and set up my train. Uh, normally, it depends on how busy things are here in the yard. The yard master may help you assemble your train, or he may say, I'm too busy, I can't deal with it right now. Usually he's pretty friendly, I find. And the other thing is that during an operating session, it tends to get very busy over here. We're, uh, I'm going to try and show you here in a second. I'll turn over here and show you that the aisle is not very wide. So imagine, if you will, there's about five or six people in here. You're going to be saying, excuse me, a lot. So we're going to grab one of those nice wide vision cabooses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out on, I think, out onto the main because right now the yard is very full. We, uh, last operating session, we haven't had time to clean up from. Now here on our layout, the yard is under the control of the yard master. And so, pardon my reach, you don't have to get permission from the dispatch to operate inside the yard limit, which goes from basically beyond that tunnel over there to all the way around, and I'll show you when you get to the other end. So I'm out on the main, yes, I'm around all the cars that are in the yard. And there's Arling downtown Arlington in the background. Now during a normal operating session, I wouldn't be able to leave my caboose sitting out there on the main line. But this is extraordinary circumstances here. So we need to run down onto the switching lead at the south end of the yard to get our cars. And our switching, yes, our switches are all set. Now the local trains can have anywhere up to eight cars. Today we have four to go to Newton. And that's kind of serendipitous because we can only fit four cars on that switching lead down there at the far south end. So at this point, we have our train all ready to depart Arlington for Newton. 
Uh, what we would normally do is contact the dispatch on the radio and say, train 501 to dispatch, seeking permission to depart Arlington Yard for, and we might say Newton, but uh, today I know I want to stop at Quarry Junction. So I'm going to say 501 to dispatch, seeking permission, occupy the main from Arlington to Quarry, over. And he could say, go ahead, or he could say, hold, uh, depending on what's happening traffic-wise on, tra on the layout. We're going to continue. And we're going to stop at Quarry Junction, and I'm going to explain things there. This is Quarry Junction. And surprise, there's a quarry over there. Over there. Someplace over there. And we have a car to pick up. Now, how do I know that? Well, I guess I should show you. Behind me, I'm going to pick up the phone here in just a second. Over here at Newton, which is our destination eventually, there's a box for the car cards. And in there, there would normally be, when I start out, cards to pick up. And I would go through those. If I'm a smart engineer, I would come over here and I would check that out and make sure what cars do I have to pick up today in Newton. What I've done already before is I've picked out the cars that were in the pickup box and I've put them here on this sorting rack. We have this little Lexan sorting rack at each town. And I've noticed that there's, there it is, this PC box car is over at Quarry. Now, the way the switches are set up here at Quarry, um, it would be best to switch this on the way to Newton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off my train and I'm going to pick up that PC box car over there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see the green box car over there. Right, row. Bad connection. Don't know if it's dirty tracks or dirty wheels. No. Don't ruin my video like this. Let's see if I can get out of here now. Now, I could switch this car on the return trip to Arlington, um, but it would have taken a lot of running around. I think I saved myself some switching maneuvers by doing it this way. Now, at this point, what we would do in a normal operating session is I would radio to the dispatch, and I would say, train 501 to dispatch, seeking permission to occupy the main between, and, and I would say main one because I'm on the inside track here. I want to take the inside track, whoop, 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 there it is, and I want to go from here to Newton. And he could either say, no, hold at Quarry Junction, he could say, he could say go to track two, whatever. But since there's nobody here, I think I have dirty wheels. Now I'm just going to jump you over to 
Newton and uh, cut out all the scenery in between. Sorry, bye. Now our train is arriving in Newton and I would normally call into the dispatch and I would say train 501 to dispatch arrived at Newton would like permission to occupy both mains at Newton for switching and once again he might say hold he might say no get over on track two or you can operate from track two or something like that but I need track one the passenger station is on track one, so if there's an Amtrak train coming through, you know you're going to have to clear, keep uh, track one clear. Now, on my sorting rack, I have my pickups. We already have the PC boxcar. There's a UP 40-foot flat car someplace. And there's a tank car, two tank cars right over there. Can you see them? So we have those two tank cars. No, I couldn't that see flat that car? UP flat car because it was right under my nose, right there. So we have that flat car, those two tank cars to pick up, and we have four cars to set out here, and um, one of them uh, goes over to Quarry. Okay, there's our four set out cars. Uh, one is going to Quarry. The red... Okay, that one right there. The CP boxcar is going to the maintenance away track, which is, there's the CP boxcar, which is way over there to my right. Uh, the GN boxcar, right there, is going over to PR furniture, which is right there, where the Bang & Rooster car is. And the Monon car is going behind us. So we're going to have to switch that one on the way back, and that one on the way back. So right now, let me see. The CP boxcar is on a facing point switch right now, so we're gonna have to run around that one. The GN boxcar, well, that's on a trailing point switch, so we can cut that and put it in right now. So let's get going. So I'll just cross over to the number two main and do a backup move down the number two main and spot the car over here.
Now we've run around our train. We now have a facing point switch. I'm sure say a trailing point switch to get into where the team track is. And I'll show you that just or the maintenance away track, I should say. Just a second. Alright, the maintenance away track is behind this building. Over here. And the CN boxcar is in the way. So we're gonna have to pull that out and put that out on the main. There we go. All right, we spotted our car. Now we have to put the CN box car back at Ace Hand Tools. Now we have to pick up the two tank cars. Now our last step is going to be to pick up that UP flat car here on the team track. Oh, almost. Good hitch. Pull our train ahead, and we'll put that UP flat out on the main, main one, and put the Otter Valley boxcar back on the team track. Now I need to do a little thinking here because I have to run around my train, I think. I've got to get the caboose, which is in the middle of the train, onto the back of the train. And I have to get that PC boxcar, which is up here, behind my engine. A little bit of thought here. If I put that there... Okay. I think I have a plan of attack here. Okay, what I can do is put the caboose right in front of the camera here.
come back and get my train. And now a couple the train onto the caboose. That doesn't get my PC boxcar off of my nose here. That's what I'm going to have to do to run around. So I'll run around the train, i run around the boxcar, I should say. Um, Newton is handy, it has two crossovers. The only problem is they're on opposite ends of town, so you have to run way around. back over here to the number two main, get our PC boxcar, did I hitch it, hey, good for Katie Couplers. Now connect up to our train. Check our hitch. Good. All right, good hitch. Now, um, I just wanted to explain one thing before we head back to Arlington. I was reading my uh, train orders a little more closely and you will see that it says Arlington and then when you get to quarry set out inbounds and pick up outbounds as required and then call dispatch for clearance. Well we did that part and we did this part but I didn't read the instructions first. Now it says for Newton set out inbounds pick up outbounds as required and then call dispatcher for clearance and we return as train number 502. So at this point I would say train 502 to dispatch. Dispatch we are requesting permission to occupy the number two main between Newton and Quarry. Over. And once again he could say yes or no, he could say hold, he could say whatever. Um, but what I want to do is if you noticed I said the number two main I normally like to run right hand uh, running on the layout, but uh, even in this case it's more important because we have a car that's supposed to go to Armstrong, and Armstrong is located between, so I can show you here, right there, Armstrong is located between here and Quarry, so we have to set out that Monon boxcar. So let's pretend that we got permission from dispatch and we're going to head for Armstrong. So up there is Gordon's building supply and this is Armstrong. We have to cut off the Monon box car and leave it here. So just cut our train do? down here. There's quite a grade right here right where the cars are sitting right now.
Now we probably should have told the dispatcher that we had switching to do here at Armstrong so that he would know we're going to be here occupying number two main for a little bit. A little bit. So now we back down, couple onto our train. You get a hitch? Yes. So here we are at Quarry again, and we have a quandary at Quarry. We have one car to drop off, where is it, right there, and um, we have three cars in front of it, and we can only fit one car on the siding up there. I'll show you when we get up there. We've got a switch back up here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that car right there. and ask for permission from dispatch I'm going to cut that car right there, ask for permission from dispatch to occupy both mains and the approach to Arlington so I can leave those, two car those three cars here on the number one main but I don't want to leave them blocking that crossing So I'm going to shove them down there. So now let's take our empty pulpwood car and stick it up on the pulpwood siding. As you can see we've got a short siding up there and a very steep grade. So we've completed our switching here. All we have to do is pick up our train and head on back to Arlington. A little bit of switching to do still to get our train back together though.
Okay, at this point, I've done all my switching. I've got all my car cards. <clears throat> my train is all put back together again. I have the caboose at the right end of the train. And I am at quarry. Um, it says, at this point, I can contact the yard master for permission to enter the yard. And he will tell me what track I have to put my cars on. So I would call. It's the same frequency on the radios that we have. Call into the yard master, ask for permission, train 502 to enter the yard, and he might say, hold. I don't know, there could be an Amtrak train coming, or there could be a through train coming, a B&M train, who knows. But, I'm going to assume that we have permission. Let's get a... Let's get our train and get moving. Now at this point, the train orders say, when you arrive in Arlington, set out your entire train on the assigned track, place your caboose on the caboose track, and put your power over on the roundhouse. Again, the turntable's not working, so we would put it on the ready track. Now, because the, tra the uh, yard is full, chock-a-block full, I think what I will do, well, anyways, a lot of times the yardmaster would be willing to cut off the caboose for you and put, and you can put your engine away. Okay, our train's all put away. We've got our caboose. We just need to put it over here on the caboose track. I'm going to have to do a runaround maneuver. All we need to do now is put our caboose back on the caboose track and quick put the switcher back to the switcher pig. Well, that's it, folks. Um, I guess the last thing we need to do is take our train order, bring it up to the dispatcher, and we're done. That's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up down below. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can leave them down below, too. Um, yeah, take care now, and I hope you have fun with your model railroading. Bye for now.